had said in the film that uh, you know when you go through this experience with people, and, I mean, you are extremely vulnerable. You are you know, usually mostly naked, and things are coming out of every orifice of your body, and you're making very strange sounds, and you know, and then you talk about it the next day in, in great detail. So you know, for people who aren't used to this and hear the graphic language he uses, it's actually something that's very common. So. You know, I think yeah. that when you go through poo-poo with people, uh, you bond with them pretty heavily. Um, but also, for me, in particular, um, it's the bonding that comes when people are seeking healing, specifically. I draw lines of demarcation between, you know, people who are seriously pursuing the healing and people who are tourists, and they just want to get high, and they're just curious about the trip, and stuff like that, and that stuff drives me crazy. Um, because, you know, there's a genuine seeking of, uh, you know, the relief of pain, the transcendence of the trauma and the shadow, and all of the things that hold us back and that we sought out the medicine for in the first place. Uh, I have eternal bonds with the people that I've done that work with, uh, but there are a few within this whole kind of like, you know, I don't know, how many people in this room have ever drank ayahuasca in Los Angeles? <laughs> okay. Did you happen to be in a big scene stir drink session like I did? It was the worst experience of my life. <laughs> there was 35 LA scene stirs in one tiny room made for maybe 12 with a guy who did not know how to do what he was doing. Anyone ever had a spiritual mugging on ayahuasca? <laughs> you know what that is? Yeah. It's when somebody else's entity, shit, demon, whatever the hell you want to call it, jumps into you. Yeah. And that's when the shaman can't hold the space properly. 